Okay, well, I'm alone now. How do I activate story? I mean, this isn't too high, but everything else is. Do I need to come in from this entrance? No. Story! Story, please. Um... Something feels broken. Oh god, how far do I have to scroll up? Up. Oh, farther than there's available. Oh! Oh, I can go this way. doesn't really amount to anything, though. This amounts to something. Here we go. Okay, let's check out this cave first. Here? The entrance in this area? Mm hmm. Alright, now, is there any way to activate it? Mm hmm. You, you remember how to do it? Hmm. Apparently, not entirely. Uh uh. Sorry. It is alright, we will just try our best. You have a look around, I'll watch the logs. May I pick something up? Pick up something as well. Mm hmm. Wait, if this was the Choir direction, then what's up this path? Is this actually just nothing? It is. some tracking in the logs. Tracking has been cancelled. Start again. Okay, you got... Okay, looks like you gotta take a very specific path. Tracking stop. Did you hear that sound too? Mm-hmm. Sound like we did something right. Let's look around some more. Yeah, this is nothing. This is an exit. Yeah, that's just a way back. Okay, so it starts there and ends there. Has it not started up yet? Oh, there we go. It starts between those two rocks. Okay. Okay. Nope. What? 
What did I do wrong? What? Okay, so it's not between those two. Did I ever try that? Okay. Okay, I didn't like that jump. Okay, what if I go like... Oops. We got, I gotta do straight left. What? What broke at that time? Oh, man. Okay, so no, don't go up there. Probably not. We're going to go up there. Uh, that cancels it, so that's not really correct. Why? I don't like this first part. This time that didn't cancel, okay? Fuck, what is the next step? I don't understand. How many, like, conflicting gates are there? What do you want from me? That? Oh! It's like getting closer. Mm -hmm. Start between those two, and then end between those two. Eh, of course it has. Let me guess, I have to jump straight left. I don't know what... I fucking hate this. It's not upset. Yeah, there it goes. This is actual agony. Oh my god. There we go! Must be it! We did it, Leah! Yay! What's up here? There's a chest! Oh! There we go, Dream Globe! So we need to start getting Lapis Lazuli from... Sapphire Ridge. No, not sapphires. Oh fuck, I should have saved. Is it too late to save? Sure hope not. Is this another secluded location? Oh, thank god. Oh man. I mean, I guess I was only like level 40 le and did not have any Rhombus Square equipment when I came here on my first play through. So it probably won't be nearly as bad this time. Now that I think about it, Toshi did mention an unused location within Sapphire Ridge back then. Must have been talking about this place. Yeah, this is... 
where the intro of the game took place. Does this mean he actually used this place in the end? How did he manage to hide it from Instatainment? Yeah, this is where we played a Shizuka when she, she was very angrily barging in through robots to find her brother her dying. So far this place seems entirely abandoned. We did not let this be a dead end. Shizuka. Hello again. Hi. Still kicking, I see. Did you just forget everything I told you? Uh -uh. Oh, that's just wonderful. So the bot is fully aware of itself and it doesn't even matter anymore. And then you simply escape your prison. Re-enter the playground, destroying around with my memories. Like they're yours to use freely. Can somebody please just delete you already? <sighs> oh, how I'd love to just rip your head off. What does it even matter in this cursed simulation? If I only knew the machine you're running on, I'd gladly crush those circuits myself. Sorry? Don't you dare just sorry me like that. I know exactly why you are here. You plan to see him. And I won't let you. Why? You have no right to see him. You have no right to exist. All you should do is disappear. Since you won't do that, I will fight you right here, right now. As long as it takes you to give up. Ah. Come on. Ah. And fire's not ice isn't really what I wanted. Nope. Oh yeah, this is way easier with the equipment. Still warming up. No, swap to... Yeah, Song of Storms. What? Oh, Shizuka's the one that went down. Nice. I can't move at. Oh, now let me dodge out of that. I get to your head? I was just testing you. Ah. Come on. Oh shoot, I got a guard broken. What? Why did you... Go... Alright, instead of... Towards the enemy. Ah. Yeah, no, keep distance while she's in fire mode. What? What was that? Ah! Let me... Eh. 
And die. Curse you! Guess that wasn't perfect. Ah! Yeah, perfect! Yeah, you're not getting away from me that easily. Nice! Okay, <laughs> I should've just been... Like, I keep telling myself I need a perfect pick guard from the beginning. What is even your point? Ice cages really gets me. You know, what is happening? What? Why did it go that way? There we go. We done yet? We're not done yet! Just because you won doesn't mean I'll let you proceed! Next duel! There we go. Ah! Storms off. Okay, so I, when I did this, I very quickly lost the first duel against Shizuka. Like, I got one point and then just died. Then the second time, I think I needed like three points before this event happened. Or second round. Yeah. So I was kind of surprised when. I got all five eight wins and didn't progress. Yes? No, it's nothing. How do you know? Fine. You can enter. This way. I don't have the... don't think I have the ability to walk. It's waiting inside. Uh, hi? Is that... 
it really happened. Satoshi, finally, we found you! Leia, you are here. Does that mean, is he with you as well? Huh? Mm-hmm. Alright, this way, please. Make sure he can read the number of this device. It's possible to connect it to it using an IDN client. Oh, just make sure to look closely at the number, Leah. Oh. Alright, one moment, please. Satoshi, I'm so glad to see you again. Same for me. It's been too long. S Sergey, is that you? I'm sure you have a lot of questions before we continue. Let me start with a little program. Ah, uh, that's a lot of NPCs just chattering. Alright, let's stay close and talk quietly. This room is monitored. Having this noise around us should sufficiently mess with the protocol. At least for some time. I see. Well then, allow me to get straight to the point. Sergei, you should already know about evil Tars. Is Leah aware about herself as well? Yes, she is. Mm-hmm. Good, this will make things much easier. Leah, well, let me start by saying that you are, in fact, the first functional Evatar. Minus a few remaining technical issues, like your malfunctioning speech module. Why? Wait, so I didn't imagine it. You can talk. Partially, I hard-coded a few words into her module. I wasn't even aware that was an option. You always managed to surprise me, Sergey. It is nothing. Please go on. Right. Let me tell you what happened after Gotham, Shizuka, and I left Instatainment. Despite countless attempts, we failed to convince Instatainment to support our research. It was in that hopeless moment that we met a certain person. Mr. Benedict Sidwell. That's the name he gave us, at least. Never met him in person, knew very little about him. Yet, he believed in our vision and offered his support. Indeed, with his help we continued our research on Avatars. He provided us with everything we needed. Technical equipment, confidential specifications, and most of all... A test environment within the playground. We managed to continue our research within Crossworlds. Entertainment never interfered. To this day, I don't know how he did it. Things started within the small area of Sapphire Ridge. However, over time we realized that a larger testing area was required for effective research. And that's how we ended up in Vermilion Wasteland. Discontinued extension to the playground. Mr. Sidwell made ours for research. We called it Evil Tar Ground. New location wasn't the most appealing, but certainly helped with our research. It didn't take us long to reach our first major milestone. Our first Evatar, Leah, was born derived from Shizuka's avatar. Back then, things were going rather well. Made so much progress. It's exciting! Following prototypes have proven to be almost feature complete. It was at that point that a long lingering question started to emerge. What exactly should we do with those avatars? Around that time, Mr. Sidwell made requests for additional features. He wanted to know if we could extract memories from avatars. The memories of the original players. Hence, his original intent became clear to us. So Sidwell's kind of just a bad guy. He may have developed a system to gather intelligence for players across world. He's the one steal your credit card information. Method works on any player across worlds. First we apply a custom cross code to the target player, overriding the original. 
Just after a short learning phase, we decouple it again. From then on, the modified crosscode can be run autonomously. The Evatar is born. In order to fully regain their memory, the Evatar needs to spend some time within the Evatar ground. And as soon as this is complete, we gather the intelligence. Turns out you can't simply extract their memory. But of course you can interrogate an Evatar, just like any person. Interrogate them with virtually no restraints on the technique. The method worked. We managed to collect highly confidential information in secret without leaving any trace. Of course, once we discover what kind of business we'd ended up in, we start to protest. We never intended to use the Avatars. Never intended the Avatars to be used in that manner. We were ready to drop everything. However, it was too late for that. We broke its several agreements with our ex-employer. That's why we've been reluctant to report anything to authorities. Even when we considered doing that. Mr. Sidwell managed to blackmail us into submission. His intention was clear. If anyone of us tried to leave, our days would be numbered. Well, not that it matter to me. Do you mean your heart disease? Please do not tell me. I'm sorry, Satoshi you knew died two years ago. Staying in front of you is the Avatar Satoshi. No. I myself created this copy as an offer to Mr. Sidwell, so I could continue to serve him. In return, I wanted him to let Shizuka go. I was naive to ever think he'd fulfill his end of the agreement. I... I cannot believe this. Don't feel sorry, Sergei. Nothing could have been done about my disease anyway. Coming in the Avatar is the only option for me to stay in this world. We need to switch rooms now, otherwise the mask can lose its effect. Follow me. Satoshi. System to extract information from players? This is unbelievable! Kinda of breaks the atmosphere, doesn't it? We're not here to have a good time, Shizuka. So, you are now an Avatar. Can you move around freely in the playground? No, these days I am confined within this building. That is also why I know little of what is happening outside. Are you aware that Leah has been the Avatar ground again recently? I suspected it from some protocol readings I had access to. Suppose they tried to drag Leah back into it. Yes, once she was there, they could effectively track our connection. They almost managed to locate me. I mean, Sid was always fully aware of your actions. It's troublesome. Something else I wonder. How did Leah learn the truth about herself? You not know? Your little sister paid us a visit. You did? She confronted Leah with the truth very abruptly. Not again. I don't see the problem. I merely told her the truth. You know full well what consequences your actions could have had. Well, it happened. We can't change it now. Glad that Leo is strong enough to overcome it this time around. Yes, congratulations, Leo. We're all so very proud of you. Jesus, okay. stop acting like a child. Excuse me? You never stopped acting like a freak! Only caring for your dear little AI sister! Enough already! Look, I know you have your issues with Leah, but you need to understand one thing. She's our best chance to get out of this mess. Both of us. What do you mean? It's thanks to her that we got in contact with Sergei. Not only that, but she's the only one who can reach the Evatar server. Why is now the first time I hear of this? I can share this with you or anybody else. We're all being monitored. 
would have jeopardized the whole plan. Anyway, with both Suryes and Leah's help, we might be able to get everyone out of this. You, me, maybe even Gotham. The Evatar server is the host for all Evatars with the exception of Leah. It's located within the playground itself, somewhere inside the dungeon compound of Evatar ground. Access is highly limited. Only avatars with an embedded access key can enter the area without triggering the self-destruct sequence. Remote administration is disabled entirely with the exception of one command, deletion of all data. It is Sidwell's final trump card. The server is impossibly hard to reach even if we tried. He could wipe its data at any time. I put an end to almost any Evatar in existence, including myself. For Shizuka and Gotham, there might have been a slim chance to escape this whole mess. But for me, it was close to impossible. However, now that Leah's here, things have changed. Because she has an access key embedded, she can reach the Evatar server. Come again? Why does Leah have the key out of all people? Because... I tricked Sidwell into giving it to her. I faked a malfunction of Leah's Evatar. Told Sidwell that the best chance to fix it would be to inspect the state of the Evatar and server side by side. While Leah was still connected. However, I wasn't allowed to access the server. As a compromise, I convinced Sidwell to go to the server together with Leah. Attempted to debug the issue while I provided remote support. In order to do that, Leah was given the access key. Despite all the efforts, I told him that the issue could not be fixed. As a final attempt, Leah was relocated to my personal development server. But ultimately, I included that she was broken for good. I was tasked with deleting her. Instead, I secretly sneaked her back into official game servers, hidden within a small data corruption of the database. <laughs> One where I was certain that an old colleague would eventually be tasked with looking into. Oh yes, the data corruption. What the heck? You really did not go easy on me. I had to make sure that not just anyone could fix it. And it worked. Honestly, all this was a huge gamble. Here you are. You received my message and found me. And now, we need to figure out how Leah can reach the Evatar server before Sidwell has a chance to wipe its data. I already have a few ideas I'd like to discuss with you in detail, Sergey. Of course! Let's relocate back to the previous room. From here on out, Sergey and I will dive into technical details. You two probably don't want to stick around for that. We spend some time in together as well. Talk it out. She can't talk. Come on, you know what I mean. Do I really have to? Please, dear sister. Fine. <laughs> 